districts may be on winter break for the time being, but keeping them safe at school, Amy, is a top priority for districts all year round. And this month marks the fifth anniversary of the most deadly grade school shooting in the nation. We're talking about Sandy Hook Elementary in Newtown, Connecticut. Every seven school days, a district in America has to deal with a shooter on campus, according to every town research. So our Diane Lee looked into the latest school training and what local districts are doing right now to keep your kids safe. The company that does this active shooter training was founded the day after 20 elementary school kids and six staff members were murdered in Newtown, Connecticut. And we had a very prescriptive plan in my school. I would not be sitting here with you if I had followed that prescriptive plan. Caitlin Roy DeBella saved 15 students' lives that day by squeezing them into a small bathroom and barricading the door. Put your hips in, and we're, we're fighting here for the gun. This year, she's teamed up with trainers at Armored One to encourage schools across the nation to take another look at safety plans. Here in the upstate, those procedures vary from district to district. Anderson 4 has based its drills off the active shooter training called Alice well before the Townville Elementary shooting. Staff at Greenville County Schools is trained by former law enforcement, including FBI. Here we go. And Spartanburg District 1 has safety teams with teachers like Michael McKinney constantly looking for ways to improve the plan. Oftentimes when you have an active shooter, they are familiar with your procedures and your routine. Um, and that is something that we as a safety team are working on right now. A lot of school districts are teaching the lock the door and wait for police. Do you want them sitting on an inner wall waiting for police to respond? Or do you want to up their chance of survival a lot by barricading doors or getting them out of a window and running away from a school or fighting back when it, they have to fight back? One of the challenges that districts face in South Carolina is that while the state mandates safety plans for each school, it provides no funding for training or resource officers. That's why local law enforcement plays such a key role. We do research to see what has happened in the past, what we can take from that, what we can learn from that. Then we'll come up with our own ideas. If we were an intruder, what would we do? We hope we never have to deal with that. But should that situation arise, um, I feel very confident in our ability to, to do what we need to do to protect our kids. In Inman, Diane Lee, 7 News. Now, all the districts that we checked in with say that training and safety plans are ongoing and it's constantly being reevaluated. To get more information about those plans, look for our story on WSPA.com.